Hey guys, hope you're well. My hair looking a bit crazy, I know. I just, I did my hair differently. I did small braids and I do, I, I really do think that it prunes my face a bit better. So, <laughs> I'm so proud. I don't want to touch it too much because there's still a lot of hair product in it. But let me make it more presentable. Uh, I don't know, do I, I don't want to put it in a bun. I want to put it in a bun. I'm out of here in a butt. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you're well. Okay, so this morning I was telling myself, hey, I don't have any juice. Let me go to the grocery store and get some juice. Go get my juice. I see Diet Coke. I'm like, no, no Diet Coke. But I'm like, wow, self-control. Great, great, great. I'm going to the checkout. I see magazines everywhere. And um I did some dodges. Oh, uh, I spent 36 pounds on magazines. It hurts. It, it really does hurt. But I was just going to go through the magazines, why I selected them. I've seen on social media um, people saying, oh, why are people still buying magazines? And I do think magazines, whether it's like fashion or tech or gossip, it's still very much important because I know it's not as impactful as early 2000s because now we have social media, but I do still think that magazines are quite important. First of all, being not everyone has social media, and for a lot of people, magazines or newspaper are the way that they get information about their specific interests. So, magazines are quite important, but also I do think magazines represent well a moment in pop culture. There's something about social media where there's so many content that is that is feeding that is feeding you your mind that people are not necessarily absorbing the information so having a physical magazine and just going through the pages obviously magazines are not as popular but i do want to establish some kind of collection and then you know when i'm a bit older i'm like oh wow like i i, I took this magazine this that's this this is the reason why i i prefer hand picking the magazines rather than have a subscription because not everything is going, is going to um appeal to me and I, I want to say like, like yeah, I, I chose you. I chose you. Now, there are two magazines, two editions that I'm looking for that I've already gone by that I'm looking for. The first one being the Vogue France with Aya Nakamura. It, I think it was the September issue of 2021. And I'm pretty sure it was the first issue with Vogue France. Because before, for some reason, it was Vogue Paris, which is so weird because... It was US, Vogue, US Vogue, British Vogue, Ukraine Vogue. Every Vogue had a country, but for some reason, Paris, it was Paris, like in the city, not not France as the country. I don't know why, but they changed it to Vogue France, which is more, which is just better. And I want that. I like just the cover of Ayana Kamara is amazing. I need to find it. I'm I'm trying to look in the web or manifest it or. I just want it. And then the second one, it's British Vogue, and they did a commemoration of the late queen. And I do think, you're like, oh, why do you want the late queen? But I do think it, it represents well something that happened in our time. I, I do want to have that one as like a collection item, really. You know, you collect, people collect timbers. Is it timbers? Timbre. Is it timber? Okay, Google. Comment on dit timbre en anglais? En anglais, on dit stamp. What is it, timber? I was thinking of Kesha, it's going down, I'm getting timber. Okay, en tout cas, bref, um, it's stamp. Why did I say timber? What the heck? People are collecting stamps, people are collecting old toys, people are collecting vintage cars. I don't want to collect magazines. Okay, I've been talking for way too long. And one thing I love is like when they give you two magazines for one. Now, it might be like a, a tactic, but I don't care. The first one being, this is Alessandro Risotti. This is the first one. This is Vanity Fair. See, this is the thing. You get also to learn more about different aspects of pop culture that you don't really know about. And that's why I sometimes like to buy GQ or other men's fashion magazines because as much as I like women's fashion, I do think men's fashion is a bit better. But I don't know more about pop culture and men's fashion, so yeah. And then um, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is a great artist and you know when there's just like an opportunity to learn more about an artist, that's great. And also, there's a little article on AI, which is a very important subject. But yeah, so Vanity Fair, great. 
Next one, GQ Timothy Chalamet. Here's the thing, a lot of magazines what we'll do is they will make multiple covers and then from there you can select. And I think this is the tactic to see which, um, which cover sells more. Here's the thing, there are covers that really do not look like covers and I don't know why they choose that as an option. I chose this one because there was one where it was like a close-up of Timothy Chalamet, which is a great cover. It's like the standard cover. And there was another one where he was like looking sideways and I was like, okay, that could be a good one. But I also feel like it's standard. I need a bit more color, a bit more action, so I chose this one. And to be honest, I don't know more. Ah! They're trying to sell me to like buy the subscription, but I'm not. Now, let's go with American Vogue. This is their, I feel like sometimes they have like a travel size or like a, a small one. So this is Carrie Mulligan. I don't know much about her, but I was interested in the two articles about Alicia Keys and Angela Jolie. It's also a great way to see like what did the cafe look like back in time, you know, as you collecting. And sometimes they do give you samples of perfumes. Is there? There's something smelling really good. I don't know what it is, but yeah. This magazine smells really good. I don't, yo, like I'm actually, am I tripping? <laughs> no, it is. It is the Chanel, okay. Okay, well, good for her. Um, but yeah. Okay, Hopper Bazaar. I don't know. It says December 2023 and January 2024. So that's great. And there is like the awards issue with um, a bunch of celebrities. And I want to know more about that. Because for some reason, I don't care about... It's not that I don't care about celebrities. You know, on social media, there's this... There's this blur between personal life and professional life. So I do have I, I, I do like a magazine in the sense of they mainly talk about the prof the professional endeavors and all that stuff, but you know there's a little bit touch of touch of personal life. A magazine gets you to appreciate more the artists and their artistic perspectives. Sometimes I just don't care about the personal life. And I'm not being rude, it's just that you no, know, I just like to appreciate an artist as an artist as the profession, you know? I think it was um, Tom Holland that said, I like, I love being an actor, but if if there's a, an event that has nothing to do with my upcoming movie, I'm not going. But what I got in his interviews, he said that being famous is a lifestyle, so anything that doesn't have to do with his projects, he's not going to be there. And I respect that, I really do. I, I do like to see some of Tom Holland's interviews, and I get to appreciate him more as an, an, as an actor, but Tom Holland as Tom Holland, like the guy who like was on the street in London, I don't really care. And I think this is a kind of an unpopular opinion. This smells good. Like th these are the type of stuff you see in magazines. I want to know what's like trending, what's not trending. This is my last. No, I feel like this is for if it's more so for the end. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I, t I did take a non-fashion magazine and this is Wired. And I'm very much so interested in the conversation with AI. Um, it's, it's a bit scary, not gonna lie. But, and I don't know much. This is Bigger TV. Oh my god. I did see a, a post on Instagram about um, luxury brands partnering with athletes and that shift. And I'm, I'm interested. But, bro, I was like, I, I do love watching tennis, so I was like, oh. I know this man. That is so funny. This is like very tech. But yeah, I guess you learn about something new. That's great. Okay, now for fun. This is L. Oh my god. And I'm pretty sure that's like a two for one. Is it two for one? Oh no 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 no. Did I buy the same magazine? Wait, because it says L and Harper Baza. And apparently I still have nail polish. Why do I have nail polish? I to be honest, I don't really wear nail polish. I don't wear nail polish. But ow! Ow. I almost broke my nail as I said that out. The other Harper Bazaar. Oh, but it's fine. If I have two different covers, it's fine. So let's unbox her. So I have this nail polish. Be your incredible self with nail ink. Nails ink. And this is shade Porchester Square. I don't know anything about nail polish. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's basically the same. Lord, it's literally the same issue. <laughs> okay, well. That's so funny. So I have the I have the exact same issue, but it's with two different um, celebrities. So I have Emilia Clark and Gugu Mta Ra. I'm so sorry if I butcher her name. So oh my god, the perfume, so good. Um, so I have two. I don't know if I want to return it. I don't want to return it actually, 
these are two beautiful covers. Yeah. I guess I'll have two. Two of the same. Okay, and this is uh, L. Is it like, is it just an L? Do they have an L UK? Because that doesn't feel like an L UK. That just feels like an L US. But this is Rosemary Ferguson. Okay, so that's great. Now, do I have a favorite magazine? I don't know. Uh, I just like to see the different, how different magazines approach the different styles, the different uh, trends, different fashion news. So I hope you liked the unboxing and just the conversation surrounding the scope, the legal scope, no, just the, the scope that is magazines and the potential future of magazines. Hopefully I do hope I get to see more magazines, like the evolution of magazine in 10, 20, 30 years, but we never know. So yeah, so I hope you liked my unboxing magazine video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!